Hello, welcome to SmartBird 101. I'm your host, Robert Rocha. In all of our segments we've been using on SmartBird, we've been showing you different ways and techniques of how to use the Smart Board in your classroom. And today I thought I would go and show you how to insert your own pictures in the Smart Notebook and how you can actually save those pictures into your Smart Gallery. Now, a lot of times uh, the gallery that we have within Smart, the Smart Notebook has about 6,700 items, but a lot of times those items may not be exactly what we're looking for, even though that's a big library to be working from. And we want to be able to use our own pictures. And in Smart Notebook 11, they've added a new feature of drag and drop. So any picture that I have on my desktop or any folder that I have, I can actually drag and drop it with into Smart Notebook without any problems. I don't have to go to the menu and insert unless I prefer to do it that way. So today I'm going to show you how to drag and drop a picture into Smart Notebook I'm also going to show you how to save that picture into your gallery. And I'm also going to show you today how you can use that to manipulate that particular picture to use it in a, in a math class, for instance, today. So I'm going to kind of show you how to flip the picture left and right. And also going to show you today how to set the transparency feature on that. Because maybe you want it to be this where you want to be able to see a little bit of background behind it. So let's go back and take a look at my computer screen and let's see how that works for us today. So, I'm going to go ahead and open up my Smart Notebook uh, software. So, I'm going to click on Smart Notebook 11. I'm going to click on that right there. And Smart Notebook does take a little while to open up because it is a very large program that we're going to be using today. But once it opens up, everything seems to be working very smoothly and, and fine. So, here we go. And there's my Smart Notebook. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to minimize my screen a little bit. So, I'm going to click on the minimizing in the upper left-hand corner. I'm sorry, the upper right-hand corner. And I'm going to go ahead and click on that. This makes my screen a little bit smaller. And so now I can see both my desktop and I can go and see my Smart Notebook software. And today's picture that I want to go ahead and use is called the nose. And we're going to show you what it looks like. Let me click on that. And here's a picture of Mount Rushmore. I think it's Abraham Lincoln's nose that I have here. And I want to be able to take that picture and put it into Smart Notebook. So I'm going to go ahead and close this one up. And I'm going to drag and drop the picture into Smart Notebook. Notice how now, as soon as I go from here to drag, I get the plus sign and the picture is within Smart Notebook. So once I see the picture within that little body there, I'm going to let go of my mouse button and there I go. And now it's inserted into my screen. Now, it's already on that particular page, but it's not saved yet at all. It's not in my gallery. It's only on that basic page. And I have not even saved the file yet. So the first thing I want to be able to do is save this now into my gallery because I might want to use this picture over and over again. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to click on the picture here because notice my editor is up here. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to drag my cursor or the picture all the way over and it didn't work for me. There it goes. And I'm going to drag it into the gallery tab. And I'm going to drop it under, under my content. And notice now that there's a plus sign where I'm at. And when I drop it there, it's in my content. So to verify that it's going to be there, I'm going to go ahead and click on my content pictures. And as I scroll down, I should be able to see that picture of, there it is, nose number one. It can use the same file number or file name that I'd used. And it's there for me. So. I'm going to go ahead now and delete this picture from my actual working page because now that I have it there, I know I can always go back and find it again in my content gallery. And there it is right there. And let me, let me turn on my Zoom It feature here. And that way we can kind of zoom in on a few things. And there it goes. It's working for me. So if I hit Control-1, I can blow it up. Very good. And we hit Escape. I'm back to where I was. Now, for instance, I want to go ahead now and I'm going to use that picture and I'm going to use it for a math lesson. But I also want to be able to, to manipulate that picture in order to use it effectively in my lesson. So the first thing I want to go ahead and do, I want to go ahead and I want to be able like, to measure the angle of that particular uh, nose. And so I want to use a graph paper as my background and I want to place the picture on top of that background paper. So the first thing I need to go ahead and do is I need to find the graph paper that's built into the Smart Notebook Gallery. 
So I'm going to go ahead and go to my search bar within my smart notebook. So I'm going to go to my search, and I'm going to type in the word graph. And so I type in the word graph, and there it is for me already there written up here. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on, let me kind of zoom this in here. I'm going to click on the hand, this particular magnifying glass right there, and that's going to allow me to search within the gallery contents. So let me go and escape this here, and let me click on that button. I'm doing a search. Now, I have all these different folders, pictures, interactive multimedia, but the one that I'm going to be looking for for the graph paper is going to be my background and themes. So I, right there, I have nine choices, so I'm going to go to my area here. I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to see my graph paper that I have is the, I'm going to choose the XY axis, XY axis medium, and I'm just going to simply drag and drop that out here. And now there is my graph paper that I have, and it's already set as my background paper. So now what I want to go ahead and do is take that picture of the nose and drag it here onto my particular paper, my background. So I'm going to go back and click on my gallery. I'm going to go up here and click on my content and scroll down to find my picture. And there is my nose picture that I wanted. I'm going to simply drag and drop that out. Now you notice here when I did that, well that's a huge picture. Well I want to kind of shrink that a little bit. And so right now when I click on the picture, my editor comes up. And so I'm going to scroll down my page and notice on the very bottom right of my, of my picture, I have a white dot. That white dot allows me to resize that picture to a more useful size. So let me go back and resize this again. And I think that's about, let me make this a little bit smaller. And I think that's about the right size that I want to go ahead and do. So now what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to line up this nose to this particular angle that I have right here within my smart board. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my nose down here. But notice I want this part, I want this part of the very tip of his nose to face in the opposite direction. And so to do that, I'm going to flip the picture from left to right. I'm sorry, from right to left. And when I do this, I go back to my editing feature and I'm going to go and go to my drop down menu and choose flip. I'm going to choose flip and I'm going to choose left to right. So let me blow that up so you can kind of see the where I'm at. And there I am here and I'm choosing the flip feature here and I'm also going to choose flipping left to right. And I went a little bit too large here. There we go. And that's what I'm going to click on right now. And so let me go back here. I'm going to go to flip and left and right. And now notice I get the exact opposite of mirror image of that particular picture. And so now I want to go ahead and put that picture on the very corner of my X and Y axes. The problem is right now is I can't see it. I can't see the X and Y axis because the picture is blocking that particular media. So what I want to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, set the transparency feature for this particular photo so I can make it transparent. That way I can kind of see the background image of the actual graph. And so to do that, notice I still have my editing toolbar on my particular graph picture here. And when I go back to my computer screen, notice in my toolbar I have a new editing button that comes up and it has two little like little uh, circles, kind of like a Venn diagram. And when I click on that, it says I can set the transparency right there. So I can go ahead now and I can drag it to be less or more transparent. I'm going to drag it out here and try this again. I'm going to drag this out. And notice now my picture as I'm moving it is a little more transparent. So I think I'm going to choose this one right there. I think that will work the best for my particular needs here. So at this particular point, I can now go ahead and line up the tip of that nose on my graph. Okay. Now the only thing is, if I want students to come up and measure that particular item, I don't want them to be, able to be able to move that picture at all. So I want to be able to lock that picture in place. So I'm going to go back to my menu screen, my editor, go to my drop down menu, and I'm going to choose locking, and I'm going to lock that picture in place. Okay. So now that picture's locked, 
the kids can come up when they're using the board and actually move it around at all. But now you're set to go and to work in your lesson with your students because you can now go and grab a pen if you wanted to, or you can use a straight line. I'm going to try a straight line. And I can now draw a straight line from that nose and kind of show exactly what the angle is of that particular nose. I oh, went too far out this way. Let me try that again. And so now if I want to, I can calculate the different slope of that particular nose if I wanted to go and do that. Now what might be very interesting with your, your class to get them more involved is if you have any type of digital cameras in your studio or you have any iPads, you can have the t students take pictures of their nose and have them actually create the slope of their own nose within a smart notebook using a little digital camera. And I think that would really add some, some um, ownership to your lessons and so forth with that. But the main thing is being able to use all the different features within Smart Notebook to offer a more uh, concise lesson with your students. But this pretty much wraps up our show today on how to insert a picture, put it into the gallery, and then go ahead and to edit that picture using the transparency features and using the flip features on your smart notebook. I hope you enjoyed your show today and that you come back again and listen to more or watch more of our shows on our, our, our YouTube channel and on our Facebook page, which is going to be EPISD TV Studio. Well, look for us and friend us, and I think you're going to have a good time uh, looking at all our shows. All right, thank you very much. Bye bye. <laughs>